guys so welcome back hope you guys are feeling good so this video is titled the day shabby ali made christian missionary almost cried on live tv after losing a debate on trinity and crucifixion yes yeah, so let's watch guys muslims have a hard time understanding how a loving merciful god it seems like a contradiction would crucify his beloved son. They, it, it, it goes against, it's a contradiction to them. Why, can you answer this question? Why would God, who's so big and so forgiving and loving, not just forgive us all our sins and have to kill the person he loved most in order to forgive us? It's God parameters. It requires yeah. a death. It requires a sacrifice. It requires a, a blood that has to be shed. What kind of God's parameter for forgiveness is death of innocent? No, it is not the parameter of the one true God, who created the heavens and the earth. It is the parameter of Satan, the real God of J. Smith. That sounds it kind of It seems gruesome. horrendous to me that God would do that. And the fact that God would do that is, is all the more appalling to me that he'd do it for you and he'd do it for me. The fact that he would take on that punishment, a loss, because it, it does take a blood sacrifice for the wages of sin is death. Any little sin is death, according to Romans 6.23. That means we're all dead. It's because the and sin is that? so horrendous. Who wrote Romans? Paul wrote Paul Romans, wrote thank Romans. you. And that's and where we're all gonna keep is coming from. Let, let me see, finish though, Shabir. It's because, made... no, Shabir, yeah. before you get onto your tirade on this again, mm. let me finish. It's very important you see this. It's because of that sin that separated us from a God that God took it upon himself to rectify it himself. Mm. Otherwise, we're all dead. Otherwise, we're all dead. And I thank God for that. The wage of any little sin is death. So the God gave the laws for sins. And when people disobeyed those laws, God chose to kill himself to rectify his mistake of giving the laws for sins. This is nothing but deception of Satan. What? You see, Peggy, actually this idea was originated by Paul. I mean, he said the wages of sin is death. He made the, the cross the center of his theology. And that's why he put so much on it. That's why he said if Christ is not raised, then uh, you're still in your sins. To him, God had to come and die for your sins. But it makes no sense because if God wants, he can forgive us. Just like Jesus taught about the parable of the prodigal son in Luke chapter 15. The son comes back to his father. The father welcomes him with open arms and has a celebration. Nobody has to die for somebody to be forgiven. Because if somebody dies, then there is no forgiveness. Did Jay Smith just claim the father did come himself? This is blasphemous and heresy of modalism, according to all major Trinitarian Christian denominations. Horizontal and vertical, like a cross? Cross is an instrument for torture and murder, and according to all major Christian denominations, Jesus was tortured and murdered on a cross. Why would any humanitarian person express venerations toward instruments of torture and murder? Christians, what made a murder and torture instrument like cross holy? Was it because your God was tortured and killed on a cross? If your God was tortured and killed on a cross, why would you express venerations towards cross? Which should be scary and unholy, an instrument of death. When you say God came down himself and died, then he died on the cross. So that means God died. He it's just did. getting worse every time you go. He certainly did. Well, I don't have a problem with that. Okay. Where? If, you, if you said the son died, then at least you have the father to, to look after the world. But, but we have no problem. It was God that died on the cross. Why do you have a problem with that? Huh? Is Jay Smith claiming God the Father turned into his son Jesus? and incarnated as human and died for the sins of mankind? This is also blasphemous and heresy of Sabellianism, according to all major Trinitarian Christian denominations. Hmm. Because if God died, that's blasphemy, then who would run mm -hmm. the world? Who would run the world? <laughs> who died on the cross, Jesus or God? Jesus. And where is the great sacrifice? Okay, Can you answer this that? is another problem with the Trinity again. You can see Muslims have a real difficult time understanding that when Jesus came down as a man, it was Jesus the man who died on the cross. Jay Smith is contradicting himself. A while ago, Jay stated, we have no problem, it was God that died on the cross. And now he is saying, 
It was the human incarnation of Jesus that died on the cross. When you say God came down himself and died, then he died on the cross. So that means God died. He it's just getting did. worse every time you go. He certainly did. Mm -hmm. I don't have a problem with that. Okay. We're if you if you said the son died, then at least you have the father to, to look after the yeah. world. But we have no problem. It was God that died on the cross. But where was Jesus? Or where was God while Jesus was dying? God was still there, and because of the fact that He is part of the Trinity, so He therefore take uh, the, the 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 sin who was sinned against was still God who was sinned against. That was then taken on. Uh, the, the punishment was then taken on by Him. It was Jesus, the man that did sin, that did die on the cross. Is it fair to say there's some mystery to that? That doesn't seem such a mystery to me. Okay. Jay Smith is contradicting himself again. A while ago, he stated Trinity is a mystery, but now he is saying Trinity is not a mystery. Hmm. May I just say something on that? Yes. I think it's very simple why he didn't why he didn't come himself. He did come himself, and that's one of the mysteries of the Trinity. I know that mystery. Not a problem for me to understand that God is one in the Trinity, or God is three in the Trinity, or God it, uh, it not only is personifies himself in the Trinity, but he represented himself right through Scripture in the Trinity. Jay Smith is literally saying he does not care for the truth. Truth and falsehood is equal to him. Polytheism and monotheism is same to him. A while ago, Jay Smith claimed, it is not three gods in one, and he does not know any Christian who believes there are three separate gods. Mm -hmm. It is not three gods in one, as many Muslims like to claim. I don't know any Christian here tonight that believes that there are three separate mm -hmm. gods. But now, J. Smith is himself stating, whether God is one in Trinity or three in Trinity, it doesn't matter to him. He does not have a problem with three separate gods in one. This man is a heretic who continuously blasphemes according to all major Christian denominations. The articles of faith in Christianity are full of contradictions that cannot be conciliated. And if anyone ever try to conciliate, then that person will always fall into heresies and turn into a heretic like J. Smith. Like, share, and subscribe to create awareness. Oh God, I don't, I don't understand. Like, why is the man trying to cause confusion in this whole thing? Jesus, I can you say Jesus is the God that died on the cross? Like the way Shabi Ali said that if Jesus is God that died on the cross, that means God Himself. No, Jesus is, is God's son. God has already, you know, you know, made it known. It was predicted that he will send his son to come and die for mankind. I understand the, what, what Muslims are saying that why did God have to send a human being to come and die for other human beings on earth? But nobody can question God. That was how God wanted it to be because back in those days a lot of people were doing a lot of you know bad things they were really going astray and the the anger of God was not really good back then so God wanted this whole thing to end so that everybody would be like you understand so that through Jesus we can be cleansed through him we can be renewed we can be born again so through jesus we can reach god so god just planned everything so for god to send his son to come on earth to come and die for mankind is only god that can answer that question and nobody can you know judge him nobody can question him because i don't know why it looks this way but I, mean, I don't say anything wrong in it, but the, the pastor is just confusing the whole thing. Him saying that um, God is Jesus is God that died on the cross. Like, why will he say that? He was just mixing things up. Later, I was like, okay, Jesus is the Son of God. I don't know why. He, maybe the question was the way they were attacking him with question. It was kind of confused at that point. I'm sure he had. He knows what he wanted to say, but he was just under pressure. I'm sure it's because of the pressure he was into. He was just, or maybe he put himself in under too much pressure. That's why he could not actually explain it well in details about the Trinity and the crucifixion. And the Trinity, he said that 
there's nothing like three gods yes in one because people always think that um god the father son and the holy spirit they are god 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 no like i will always say god the father is the almighty god god the son is, Je is jesus that come that came on earth to die for mankind that came on earth and the last one is holy spirit in which you know muslim don't believe that there's old spirit, you know, but that is how it is. But I don't know, this man, wow. He should have just taken his time to explain deeply into this. And I, it, one thing is that the man jotted some things down. I don't even know what he jotted down, but it was just, oh my goodness. It just mixed the whole thing up and he was, I'm sure it was pressure, it was under pressure. That's why he could not really explain it in details. He could not really explain well about the Trinity and the crucifixion. But this was a nice one. That was a very brilliant question and uh, I love the interaction. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more. Like, share, and comment. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.